Claire Greenfield lives in Solihull in the West Midlands and she's a loyal Conservative. But the leadership hopefuls still have some persuading to do if they're going to get her vote. Ahead of this debate, where are you between the, the two candidates, Rishi Sunak, Liz Truss? Where are you leaning? So at the moment, I'm undecided um, between uh, Rishi and Liz. Um, I am leaning towards Liz Truss more, and so this debate will hopefully make up my mind as a member of the Conservative Party and I can cast my vote with confidence. Claire says she has doubts about Rishi Sunak's motivations to become PM and Liz Truss's recent climb down over her policy to determine the salaries of public sector workers based on where they live. I think he supported the country very well through Covid. Um, however, the thing I don't like about him is the... I, I do feel he, he stabbed Boris in the back. Liz Truss, I like the fact that she's been strong on the international stage especially against Putin. However, I was disappointed uh, yesterday with this U-turn and I thought to myself, is this something that's going to be a, a, a carry-on of the previous Boris government, U-turning all the time? 130 miles north in Harrogate, Sue Lumby is yet to fully decide. Sue is 71 and a councillor. I think they're good in that they're very different. We have a very clear view on what they both, they're both, they're both believes, they're both directions. I think she's quite direct. She's not polished on camera and I like that. I like that. Um, I think she's been a very good foreign secretary. Generally I would agree with Rishi Sunak over the tax situation. I don't think you can keep borrowing. But today, in these days with the UK, Ukraine crisis and therefore the fuel crisis and everything else, I think people, poor people just can't take any more squeezing. Uh, so I definitely favour Liz Truss on that one. Sue, like Claire, will take her seat in the audience at the Sky News leadership debate. It's the last chance the candidates will have to persuade members before voting begins. Nick Martin, Sky News.